Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. I ordered a pizza a while ago and I left to go pick it up, but I got lost. My car is almost out of gas and now I have no idea where I am. Well, there's moss on this tree and moss always points to civilization. So maybe I can find help. Oh look, a neighborhood. I must be close. Hey, excuse me, mister. Yeah? I went to go pick up a pizza, but I got lost. Could you tell me how to get to the pizza place in Pennsylvania? Ha! This is West Virginia. West Virginia? Wow, no wonder I almost ran out of gas. Who the hell was he? Well, here goes nothing. Well, I made it back and I got the pizza. There's no pizza in here. What the hell? Wait, there's a note here. Sorry about the empty pizza box. I got hungry while I was waiting for you to pick up your pizza. Signed, the pizza guy. Well, that guy didn't think of the customer. Pizza delivery is the episode where SpongeBob and Squidward get lost while delivering a pizza to a customer. This episode aired on August 14, 1999, and is the first instance of Squidward being kinder to Spongebob than he usually is. Normally, Squidward is rather grouchy to Spongebob, but there have been a number of occasions that show he doesn't truly hate Spongebob, and this episode is the first true example of that. It's a neat dynamic, and I think it's nice whenever it shows up. Don't get me wrong, Squidward being grumpy to Spongebob isn't bad by any means, but it's always nice seeing characters have a change of heart or some development. This episode is also remembered just because of the Krusty Krab pizza song. It's not a big song with an instrumental, like the Ripped Pants song from episode 5, Ripped Pants, more so just a quick little ditty, but it's still awesome nonetheless. Before I talk about the episode and give my opinions, here's a little background about it. When the creator Steven Hillenburg was developing the show, he thought of pitching an episode like this to Nickelodeon. The original plot was going to be of Spongebob and Squidward going on a road trip which was inspired by the 1989 film Pow Wow Highway. While it was a good idea, it was eventually canned as the story for the initial pitch to Nickelodeon and the writers came up with another idea which would eventually become episode 1, Help Wanted, the series pilot. The road trip idea would later be reworked into this episode and, to an extent, into episode 467, Pineapple RV, from season 12. It's pretty neat to know that this was originally developed as the pilot, but I am so glad that this pilot exists instead. Now with that out of the way, let's watch this episode and relive the Krusty Krab pizza delivery and song. So the episode starts up and it was after closing time at the Krusty Krab. The phone rang and Squidward answered it. He tried to say they were closed, but Mr. Krabs takes the phone. The customer asks for pizza, and Mr. Krabs immediately says they make pizza for the sake of money and says Squidward will deliver it. Despite Squidward's protest, Mr. Krabs makes a pizza out of Krabby Patties and has Squidward deliver it as well as Spongebob joins Squidward for the delivery. Later on, Spongebob does a vehicle inspection, checking various things like the tire pressure. When the inspection was complete, Squidward tells Spongebob to drive even though Spongebob was still in boating school. Squidward says the customer was right around the corner and tells Spongebob to do what he does in school. That's a bad idea, Spongebob crashes a lot. Squidward told Spongebob to shift into reverse, but Spongebob still got nervous when he tried to, and when he did, the boat sped backwards very quickly, hit some bumps on some rocks, and ended up going miles backwards until the next morning arrived and the boat ran out of gas. To make matters worse, they were stuck in the middle of nowhere and the pizza was getting cold. Squidward gets angry about the situation and kicks the boat, which causes it to start again and leaving them stranded with no transportation. Shouldn't the boat have gone backwards instead of forwards? I thought it was in reverse when it ran out of gas. Spongebob decided to deliver it on foot. As they walked, Spongebob started to sing about the Krusty Krab pizza while Squidward's feet were hurting. 
Then SpongeBob tries a pioneer trick he saw in a movie, and soon enough, a 16-wheel truck was approaching. So he tried hitchhiking like the pioneers did by doing a silly dance. The truck driver saw SpongeBob and honked the horn, but he didn't stop for them and Squidward pushed SpongeBob out of the way before he got hit, but they still had to walk. Later on, a windstorm struck, and as they tried to push on, the box got caught in the wind and Spongebob refused to let go of it. Squidward grabbed Spongebob's legs and the box pulled them towards a tornado. When they fall from the sky, the pizza becomes a parachute and saves Spongebob while Squidward safely hits the ground. When Squidward gets up, he sees that the road was gone and starts to panic. Spongebob sees moss on a rock and tells Squidward that the pioneers stated that moss always points towards civilization. Squidward decides to go the other way, despite the fact that there was indeed a town in the opposite direction. See? It's true. I found a neighborhood after I saw moss on a tree. As they walk along, Spongebob sings the Krusty Krab pizza song, but it doesn't take long before they start to become tired and hungry. Soon, Spongebob suggests eating coral like the pioneers did. Squidward started to get angry and demanded that they eat the pizza. Spongebob said that they promised it was for the customer, but Squidward, in an effort to trick Spongebob, got him to open the pizza to check to make sure it was okay. While it was fine, Spongebob found out Squidward's plan and ran away so Squidward couldn't get it. Soon Squidward was out of breath and Spongebob bumped into him. Before Squidward tries to grab the pizza, Spongebob saw something off to the side and started to sing and dance about them being saved. What Spongebob saw was a rock, and he stated that the Pioneers used to ride them for miles. Squidward told Spongebob to forget the Pioneers, stating that none of them are left due to what they used to do, even though they actually were able to drive. Rocks. Soon enough, they arrived at the customer's house, but when the customer received his pizza, his happiness didn't last long, since they didn't bring a Diet Dr. Kelp he claimed he ordered. At least he got his pizza. I never got mine. Spongebob says he didn't order a drink, and the customer got furious and refused to take and pay for the pizza and slammed the door on Spongebob. Swiver tried to cheer Spongebob up, but Spongebob just cried. Swiver got mad and confronted the customer by himself, throwing the pizza at him, stating it was on the house. Squidward cheered Spongebob up by saying the customer ate the whole pizza all in one bite with no drink. Squidward wanted to go home, but since they were close enough to the Krusty Krab, they went back there, much to Squidward's dismay, and the episode ends. Wow, Squidward was right. The house really was just around the corner. So that was pizza delivery, and I think that was a really great episode. There's so much to love about it. The highlight, to many people, is the Krusty Krab pizza song. While there are a couple of scenes with the song, the part most people think of is the part where Spongebob sings beatbox and falsetto. I remember that there were a couple of people from high school that wanted me to sing the Krusty Krab pizza song. Without asking which part, I would always sing this part. I also have a couple of friends from high school that say they love this episode too, but their reason wasn't because of just the song itself, but because it's about pizza. And that is a good reason. In addition, there are a lot of other great parts. I really like when Spongebob is being blown around by the windstorm and it suddenly stops so Spongebob can say, Squidward. I love the part where Spongebob checks the tire pressure during the vehicle inspection. The ending where the Krusty Krab was so close by was also pretty cool. My best friend and I also like the part where Squidward says, well, you're backed up, when the boat runs out of gas, as well as the hitchhiking part. I also like the part where Squidward is chasing Spongebob to get the pizza, and when Spongebob is dancing over what is not just a boulder, it's a rock. Last time I watched this, I did notice something though. Even Mr. Krabs didn't mention anything about a Diet Dr. Kelp. Of course, while I always have a drink with the pizza, I still don't think he mentioned a drink in the order. The only explanation I could think of is when the customer was placing his order at the beginning, Maybe Squidward's talking at this point drowned out the part where the customer asked for a drink, and maybe Mr. Krabs didn't hear it. But that's not enough to ruin the episode by any means. However, this episode seems to have unintentionally started some kind of trend. In this episode, Spongebob can't drive a boat, but he drives this rock, no problem. In some episodes after the Spongebob Squarepants movie, he was shown driving several other things with no problem at all, like a tank, or a fighter plane, or a tanker truck. What? I don't know if any of this was intentional, or something like that just slipped by the writers during that time without realizing it, but again, it doesn't make this a bad episode, not at all. Additionally, I also think that the first time Squidward was nice to Spongebob was pretty good. It shows that Squidward is a bit of a complex character instead of Mr. Conceited and Grumpy Pants, 
It was nice seeing him stand up for Spongebob like that, and the part where he slams the pizza in the guy's face is just hilarious. I also like the random gag of Squidward playing the spoons while Spongebob is dancing on the street. Also, fun fact, when Spongebob is panicking and sees those strange symbols on the shift, that right there is the Korean characters for forward and backwards. I didn't know this until I looked it up. Anyway, I think this episode is great. It's a great watch with not a lot of flaws. Those couple parts that I mentioned about the soda and the driving thing are more of just nitpicks than anything. It's still an awesome episode with a lot of funny moments. It shows that Squidward can actually show a nice side towards Spongebob at times, and it is, in my opinion, one of the best episodes season one of Spongebob has to offer. Pizza Delivery is a great episode. It's really enjoyable and memorable, and I think it's one of those episodes that will always stick with Spongebob fans, no matter how old they get, or no matter how long the show goes on for. And with all that being said, I'm furious that I never actually got my pizza, so I'm going back to the pizza place for a refund. Now, which way do I go again? <laughs>